minutes talking you through the homework from previous lessons on this start of a ten. Because a few of you have told me that you found it quite tricky. Um, so what I want to do is just quickly run through how I would answer the questions and explain Le Chatelier's principle as you go through. So equilibria, as you've probably read over the last few weeks, is all about basically a tennis match between a reaction going in the forward direction, in this case chlorine and water making HClO and HCl, or in the reverse direction, HCl and HClO making H2O and Cl2. Now, if those reactions are happening at the same rate, so they're the same speed backwards and forwards, and the concentrations of reactants and products aren't changing, that is to say, as quickly as chlorine and water make HClO and HCl, the HCl and HCl react and go back to chlorine and water, then we say the system is at equilibrium. Now, chemists can do some things to shift the position of equilibrium. What that basically means, if you imagine a seesaw, it would mean that we put more emphasis on one side of the seesaw than the other. So in this case, we could either make the equilibrium shift to the right to make the forward reaction happen more, or shift equilibrium to the left to make the backwards reaction happen more. So in this reaction, what we're after is a decrease in the concentration of chlorine. What we want to do is reduce the amount of chlorine we have. So what we want to do to get rid of the chlorine is make the reaction move over to the right. So there are two things we can do. The first is to increase the concentration of water. Now, that might seem a bit weird, because it's adding more on the left, but equilibria opposes the change we make. So the first thing we can do is increase the concentration of water would shift equilibria to the right as the system opposes the change and tries to use up the water. The second thing we could do is we could increase the reaction moving over to the right by removing some of the HClO or the HCl. Um, so we could remove the HClO or the HCl from the flask. Okay, Both of those things would make sure that the system used up more of the chlorine to try and favour the forward reaction. Okay, So what we're always trying to do is the opposite of what the system wants to do. So in this case we want to get rid of the chlorine, so we want to do anything that the system would do um, to try and make the chlorine come back. Okay. So the next thing we're going to have a look at is the question number two here, which is all about the HCl and the O2 reaction. Okay, So in this reaction, there's this extra piece of information here. Now, this is, to me as a chemist, a sign to say that enthalpy change is negative, or energy change is negative, or the reaction is exothermic. Okay, any time we see a negative value for energy, exothermic. So that means that the forward reaction releases heat. Okay, so if I want to make more chlorine, what I can do is I can favour the reaction that releases heat. And the way we do that is we do the opposite thing. So if it wants to make heat, we need to cool it down. So we can cool down the flask. The next thing we can do is we can shift it over to the right by increasing the concentration of things on the left. So we could increase the concentration of HCl or oxygen. Okay. Next up, number three. PCl5, PCl3 and chlorine. Now in this question, you've got the added information here of the energy change, but you've also got the information here are about the fact that these are all gases. And when gases come into play, think pressure, okay? So the way I like to think of this is a balloon, okay? If you squeeze a balloon, you increase the pressure inside, and it means that the particles inside are much, much more likely to collide. And when we've got equilibria, what we need to look at is count how many we have either side of the arrow. So here we've got one lot of gas, but here we've got one and one, so two lots of gas. So there is more gas on this side than there is on this side. Okay. So with that information at hand, this is two, this is one, what I need to do is 
make equilibria shift over to the right. And the way I'm going to do that is by favoring the forward reaction. So what I need to be thinking about is, okay, in this reaction, equilibria would normally want to increase the pressure. So I need to do the opposite. So I'm going to decrease pressure. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look here at this delta H. This energy change is positive. So that means the forward reaction is endothermic. So that means I'm going to do the opposite. Endothermic means it gets colder. So I'm going to increase temperature. Okay. Okay. Question number four. Ethene, CH2, double bond CH2 and water makes ethanol. Okay, you might remember this reaction from when we did the alkenes topic earlier in the year. Again, we've got some information here. Gas, 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 so we can think pressure. Um, forward reaction in this case is exothermic. So percentage yield, how much ethanol we make. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to favour the forward reaction again. And this time we've got two on the left and one on the right in terms of number of particles, which are gases. So this would be decreasing pressure. So I'm going to increase the pressure. And the second thing I'm going to do, looking at this here, the forward reaction is exothermic. So I'm going to decrease the temperature to oppose the change that's being made. Okay. Finally, number five, this time we're not told anything about them being gases or not, so we can't think about pressure. Um, so what can we do here? Well, there is no energy change. So if there, isn't a, if there is no energy change before and after, it's zero. A change in temperature will not affect it. So changing temperature will have no impact because there is no difference between the left hand side and the right hand side in terms of energy it's not exothermic it's not endothermic there is no energy change um, and the second thing that would have no impact is use of a catalyst okay this is the one that always catches people out a catalyst speeds up both of the reactions equally okay it's uh, going to make the reaction faster in both the forward and the reverse direction so overall if they're both sped up by the same amount equilibria doesn't shift either way okay 